publications this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. It's the bigger love of the family. Good morning. Today is May 29th, 2020, and I'm Juni. And I'm Kim. Thank you for joining us on a special edition of TNN. Our Tornado traits are respect, responsibility, and service learning. We hope you have been able to show these traits even when you are at home. Speaking of Tornado traits, Pentec has officially been named the National School of Character Education. We would like to thank all of our students, staff, and administrators for making our school a safe learning environment that serves as an example of good character. Congratulations to the following students for being Star Student Achiever for the third marking period. We would also like to congratulate Kevin Fuller, a junior in the pre-engineering program. He scored in the top 2% of all students in the country on the PSATs. We may not have our usual ceremony and breakfast, but we can still recognize the achievements of our principals list and our honorable students for the third market period. Here are the students earning all A's and all A's and B's. Keep up the good work. Pentec Pride Award was given to 28 seniors who have had no disciplinary incidents in all of four years of their high school career. Congratulations. This is your last chance to submit your short stories, poems, and artwork to a literary magazine. You can email your work to Mrs. Tukalis. We are also creating a Pentec community poem. Students and staff can submit lines of poetry that will be combined to make a giant poem. If you would like to participate, submit your lines to your graduating class for mind code. The events of the past few weeks have been difficult for everyone. So here are some tips from Mr. Short for maintaining your mental health in these challenging times. Stay tuned in with someone. Don't isolate yourself. Get outside whenever possible. Exercise. Physical activity benefits our physical and mental health. Do things that you enjoy. Ask for help. Our counselors are available for you and there are resources on our school website to help you through this. Students from Graphic Communications created posters with encouraging messages. Let's take a look at some of their artwork. If you want to travel but you're stuck inside the house, well, there are plenty of resources online. Discovery Education has hundreds of virtual field trips that you can take, from a tour of the NBA headquarters to an up-close view of the polar bear migrations. There are zoos, aquariums, even museums worldwide are creating virtual tours that you can take from home. Most of us have been spending more time at home than usual. We asked some students and teachers what they've been doing in their spare time. Hey Pentec, when I'm not working, I'm teaching Jacob how to blow bubbles and gardening. I've been reading a lot, spending time with my puppy, who's crazy, trying to stay active as much as possible. Only really interesting thing that has happened is that I bought a house and we are slowly destroying the outside. Running, reading, working, eating, a lot of Netflix. My favorite thing to do in the world 
is go to the beach. A little too cold to go swimming, but it is beautiful and it's very peaceful. Pintech, I hope you're healthy and safe. Since the pandemic, I've been doing a lot of things I haven't done in years. Playing lots of games. Going for lots of walks. <laughs> and eating lots of snacks. I got a new home gym. 800 bricks, two cubic yards of stone, a ton and a half of sand. All you gotta do is put it together. My free time away from the computer, my kids have me building their playhouse, putting up a pool, building a new shed for them. Since I've been home, I've been hanging out a whole lot with my little boys. Say hello. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> but I miss all my other students too. Here's some hobbies that you might want to try out. Today will be partly cloudy with showers and temperatures reaching 86 degrees. It will be slightly cooler than yesterday, but still very warm. Let's take a look at the five day forecast. That's all we have for you today. Back to you, Natalia. Members of the girls' softball team wanted to encourage each other and spread some smiles. They made this photo collage as a shout out to their teammates and the other spring sport athletes. Exercise is important in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Teens should aim for at least 60 minutes of exercise each day. Need some ideas on how to do that? Here are some suggestions from our physical education department. Try some online exercise videos like Zumba, Pilates, and kickboxing and cardio. You can even work out while you work. Do lunges while you vacuum or stand and step side to side while doing computer work. To stay up to date with information about Pentec, make sure to check your email and Google Classroom daily. You can find announcements and video messages from Dr. Harani on our school website. You can also check out video content on our YouTube channel that staff and students made in the last few weeks. And don't forget to follow our school on social media as well. Attention seniors, we have special plans to celebrate you and your accomplishments. On Wednesday, June 3rd, some of our teachers and staff will be coming to your neighborhood to deliver senior gifts. Look out for an email with the time they will arrive at your home. Our virtual graduation will air on June 18th at 7 p.m. The link will be posted on the school website. This is our last broadcast of the year, which means this is the last episode for TNN seniors like me. Our seniors have participated in every broadcast since the premiere of TNN. On behalf of our seniors and TNN team, we would like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Have, have a great, great summer. summer.